channel welcome to the vlog you're watching HQ BMW welcome back to part four of the airlift performance 3h install today we're going to be mounting compressors the tank and the manifold this is probably my least favorite part because I never know where to put anything and I'm always so indecisive that I, I do it so many times and then I end up with holes and panels and stuff that I just I don't like and it doesn't look clean so today we're gonna really focus on trying to make this setup as clean as possible and with doing it once I don't want to do this over and over again I don't want to keep drilling and making holes in the trunk liner and all that stuff so Let's try to do this one tank. I kind of have a vision in my head of what I want. We're going to be using the bottom bucket for the compressors and then I really would like to hang the tank and the manifold from the rear deck lid because that's where we ran all of our wiring and plumbing to. So without further ado, let's get started and we're going to start by mounting the compressors down into the bottom bucket. One thing I wanted to do, which I found on Google, was a guy put his compressors down in this bucket. Except for he had the two compressors sitting this way. But my compressors are too big. So, so what I want to do is put the two compressors right here against the forward part of the bucket. Power lines are going to go out through the bottom nice and clean. And then I want to mount this T up here and just take the leader lines and run them and take the leader lines and curl them around and come into here and then coming out the bottom I want to use uh, an angle I want to use an angle push to connect and have it run out and have the airline come out and into the tank. Then both compressors are feeding one line into the tank. Then I don't have two different cables to run into the one tank. We got the compressors mounted, the wiring. I put some of that black loom over top of it, ran it through the back side, and then mounted the T fitting with the two leader lines coming into it. We have our angle 90 degree fed into the airline and I ran it through a grommet out of the box. I happen to have a, an assortment of grommets from when we installed the airlines into Quinn. So now we will get this bucket installed and get these wires all connected to the ones in the trunk. Before I put the bucket back in, I had to do some drilling to mount these clamps. And I wanted to do that before I had the bucket installed and now it'll be easier to vacuum out. So I used some special pop rivets to mount the two clamps to the upper deck lid. So now I can put the tank up here and this will hold the tank. So very close. These clamps I ended up getting from a local truck shop here in town. If you're in the Calgary area it's called Greg's Distributors. I think they were about eight dollars a piece and they're called T-Bar clamps. I got two of them and the fasteners you could use screws or um, I just use these pop rivets because well hashtag aircraft life we get the tank mounted with the straps and then I used some angle extrusion from the local hardware store and the bracket that I built at my previous job holding the manifold got the compressors mounted wired up we got the pink ignition wire wired up okay 
so now you should be able to plug in your battery, plug in your air lines into the manifold, get your compressor lead plugged in, you should be good to go. I'm not done yet. I'm actually going to bend some custom hard lines, get them polished and bent tonight, and I will pick up with you guys first thing tomorrow. So I pulled everything out last night and I connected all of the fittings. So this is where our intake from the compressors is going to come. And then this is where the out is going to go into the manifold. The drain, I ran a line in behind. So this um, quick dump is going to be behind the tank. I'm going to put a remove before flight flag here so you can just pull it and it will drain the system. And then this end is actually going to connect to this fitting that you can emergency fill the tank if need be. So when this is like this, this will sit here and this line is going to come into that fitting. I have also bent up some hard lines that are going to ultimately sit like this under the manifold and this one is going to be under there. This one still needs to be polished. These ones I, were act I was actually polishing in the house last night. So I'm going to start to reassemble all this stuff, get the tank put back in the trunk and get the manifold mounted, get this bracket mounted. I wrapped it satin black last night as well. Didn't want to bore you guys with that. But I'm going to get this all together and we'll start assembling it back in the trunk. put in. I still have to polish that long one that goes from the tank into the manifold. We got the compressors mounted, wired up, all connected. I got the line coming from the compressors into the tank, all connected. Everything is all hooked up now and ready to rock and roll. So now the last thing we got to do is obviously we got to run the wire for the controller, which is very simple and pretty easy to do. We'll do that and then we have to connect all the power up. So let's get to running the wires for the controller. But first I'm gonna show you on the back side of the tank what I actually did. So if any of you guys are following along, then you'll kind of know what I did and you might be able to follow the same steps. Okay, so here you can see the lines, hard lines coming through. I used some connectors to connect the air lines to the hard lines. And I put a remove before flight tag on the quick dump, but this is all secure and pretty good. That is what it looks like in front of the air tank and you can't see. And once the seats are folded up, then you're never gonna see this. Clean, out of the way, and just like I wanted it. So, one thing I forgot to actually install, which I'm gonna take the brass fittings off of 
the lines that go to the rear and we are going to put these controllable valves in place of the brass ones because what you can do is typically if you don't have these what happens is the front airlines are so much longer than the rears that the rears actually dump faster than the fronts so what happens is instead of your car coming down level at once it goes like this and then the front comes down so what these do these will limit how fast the air goes in and out of the airbags so what happens is when you have these installed then the car goes down flat a huge shout out to Dan at F30 underscore M3 links below he's the one that told me about these things that um, I was trying to always figure out how to get the car to dump level and all together so we're gonna take the brass ones off and get these installed and then we'll do the front controller remember if you're going to take the fittings off of the plastic line you need to cut about quarter to three-eighths off of the end because the lines that this leaves in it is where it will leak so always remember if you're plugging and unplugging and plugging back the plastic line you got to make sure you cut it off or you're going to have some leaks and here's what it looks like with the bottom cover down clean just exactly like I wanted it I am very impressed it turned out just like I wanted it to so I ran the line for the controller underneath the edge of the seat the only place you'll see it is running across here and then I tucked it underneath the center console. I ran it underneath here, all the way up to the front. And then I dropped this panel, which is two eight millimeter bolts. So I can reach up in behind here. If you pull your trim out, just pull it straight out then you can actually drop the cord down in behind the vents. When you put your trim back on, you can have your controller cord right here and I mount it to this magnetic vent mount. I'll show you the final product right now. Here we go. Just got a little plate on the back. Magnet. The wire goes up and in. Looks clean. Got the bottom all put back together. All hidden. There we go. The compressor, the tank, the manifold. It's all been mounted, all the lines run to it. We got the front controller all wired up. If you're not going 3H, you should be able to connect your battery and fire up your system. I still have the height sensors to install and get them all connected and wired up. And I also have the front two airlines to connect the airlines to the actual bags. We got the fittings from Airlift Performance, so Everything should be good, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope it was helpful. I'll drop a link to all of the items that I use to install the airlift system in the description down below. I'm very, very happy with the results and how it turned out. It is night and day compared to the actual install that I did on Quinn. This is much cleaner, tidier, and I don't have a bunch of random holes in all the panels and Oh, what a nightmare. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.